M0FXB, so we're going to do some tests with, I've got myself an adapter. I think you could do one of these if you've got a Zygu X6100. So look, one end is USB-C and the other end is female USB, standard size for a laptop. And I've actually got two. There you go. Why have I got two? Well, there's two ports in the, in the Zygu. The one that says host is for think, plugging in things like mouse, keyboard, and the DEV one is the one that you would use for FT8. So what are we going to do? Well, we've got a few options here. The first thing we're going to do is plug in a mouse. So we just got a box standard mouse. We've got a, I've got the power supply plugged into the radio. Let's turn it on, hold it down for two seconds. Look at that boot, because it's a computer, or imagine it like a Raspberry Pi, it's a bit like our hotspots, it just takes a bit of time for things to boot. If it doesn't come on straight away, just push the, uh, push the button again. There's no antenna, so you're not gonna get much of a signal. Right, so, first thing is the mouse. So let's get the, uh, the mouse, let's plug it in. Well, we need to get the adapter in, I suppose, so. Adapters in the bottom one. Host. And we've not done this before, so we're learning as we go. And then into the uh, USB adapter here. Okay, well, the mouse straight away has lit up, so that's a plus. Now let's go into setting that needs, you know, needs a mouse. So something like CW message, so we'll go message. And then we'll choose one that we want to change. So message MT number four. And normally we would say keyboard. So now we haven't put the keyboard in yet. Let's just see if we can use a mouse a minute. So if you look here, look, we have a mouse and we can select things. Now, if we want a keyboard, we're gonna need a, a double adapter. So I don't think I've got one lying around. I'll have a look. Right, I have found a double adapter. I don't think it works. It's not been that great. I've used it before and I didn't find it very useful. But anyway, maybe today we will. Right, double adapter in. So let's put the keyboard in. I'm oh, sorry, the USB mouse in. And let's see if, if it doesn't work, then there's not enough volts to do it. And I, I have found that adapter, which I bought years ago it just doesn't really work it turns the mouse on but the mouse isn't moving i don't think it gets enough voltage let's leave it in a bit longer so no so if i plug it back in straight into the adapter right so i let you see the mouse and normally you would you can you can select keyboard here look and we can type i wonder if we can select things select letters on the keyboard with just the mouse yeah you can well that's that's something isn't it so you could just put a mouse in or you could buy a keyboard with a mouse um built into it that would work but I, i'm sure that if you had the right adapter you could plug two things in so okay let's um try something out let's just, let's try the keyboard so we'll unplug the mouse for now. Um, interestingly, actually, let's, I'll tell you what we'll do next. We'll try, this is a voltage. This measures voltage and amps. So let's plug it in and see what volts are coming out of that, that host port. So there it goes. So move the camera where you can see it. So one sec. So look, 4.19 volts. And this is probably why I had a problem with it. It wouldn't boot up the jumbo hotspot because the volts are a bit low. Um, you would have thought four, it might just do it. But I didn't have it in a in an external power supply. So, okay, so we're looking at 4.18 volts. And then if we plug things into it, we can actually see what it draws. So we'll leave it as that for now. Um, Let's plug the mouse into it. I'm not sure if this will work, but uh, yeah, mouse is working. So look, 
and it's not really even showing a draw. So I don't think we, I don't want to push my luck and plug two things into it. So no draw, still four point something volts. Let's plug in the keyboard. So unplug like so. I know it's a bit annoying that it's upside down. Grab the keyboard, which I've just tested this old keyboard. Let's plug it in. Right, keyboard's in. Still not showing any amps. Now you can get a bit more, uh, more finer. Oh, there it is there, 0.02 amps being drawn. And keyboard-wise, yeah, you can see that that is working. So just go from here from a distance. And then look at the radio. I'll do all the H's. H, 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 H. So there you are. Keyboard, mouse, working fine. Bit of a glare, but you can see it's working. Which is handy because when you're, you know, when you're, well, let's just say I want to put in my, my CQ now. It's quite a lot to type, isn't it? You know, it's a CW message. If I type um, CQ, CQ, CQ twice, then my course, actually before my course I'm DE, then my course I'm, yeah. And let's just put a K at the end and enter that. So to, to, to enter it into the thing, we still have to use this key here. So go like so, click enter. And then we need to come out, we need to hit the X and then we need to save. And it saved it in here and it does send. If I go to um, message, now you have to go app first, modem, then message. And if I hit it, I think there's no antenna, so I'm not going to risk it. it. It will send it. Okay, so that's good. We know that that's a plus seeing that, that working. Right, final test. We'll unplug the keyboard. We're going to unplug the voltmeter. Unplug the voltmeter. I know it's upside down. And this is the one that I don't think will work. We've actually got a network cable here that if I normally put it in a Raspberry Pi will give me a wired network back to my router. Now, I don't think that, that this has been set up, the, the Linux system in this has been set up for that. I don't think it has, but I bet you it could be. Um, it's just all about, I, I don't know Linux, but you, you know, you can pretty much, you know, it's not a big thing to ask, is it? So I've plugged it in. Let's... Um, yeah, it's not even lighting up. Normally, it will light. You'll get something happen. It will light up. Um, so I would say it's not made any difference. Let me just dim the lights here a minute, just to check that it's not doing it, and I just can't see it. Yeah, there's no power going to it at all. So people that understand this kind of stuff, they will understand why there's no power. But if I plug my Raspberry Pi into it, it will just start to work. So the other thing is, yesterday when I did plug my Raspberry Pi into this, uh, it, it didn't even, it didn't boot to a point where I could use it. But I have got an external power supply this time. Let's try that. And I've just checked, there's definitely no wired connection. So, we've now got the my Jumbo Spot, which is fully configured for D-Star, plugged into just the out, you know, the four volts that were coming out of the Zygu. Let's just see if it boots this time, because we've got an external power supply this time, and the battery is quite low. So I, I've been, I did what the instructions say, I've, let it go completely flat and I'm charging it. I shouldn't be using it, I suppose. But um, let's just see if that comes on, comes to life. Yeah, so it does not come to life. So there's not enough power coming out of the Zygo to power a five volt, what is it? One, maybe two amp uh, hotspot. And we plug the adapter into the DEV port, but of course, um, no, no difference. I have been told that there's a possibility maybe of doing it using the microphone connection. But, and there's loads of experimentation with this 
particular radio and that's why everyone's enjoying it uh, so much even though it's it's left the factory basically not finished but as a hf radio six meter atu it's all working uh, very well so uh, thanks for watching hope you found this interesting seven three all the best